In sweep number 30, we're looking at adding a series of three or four numbers, and the strategy we're using is to make a 10, or you can say look for a 10. So this is designed to help students to handle extended addition of multiple numbers using a strategy that finds what is sometimes called nice numbers, numbers that go together. We're making it explicit in these examples. It's always about making 10, but we can help students find other easy numbers to add up. And we're certainly going to do that in the next sweep. Here are three examples. 1 plus 8 plus 7 plus 2. Now notice in each of these examples, it would be perfectly possible to start on the left, work away across to the right and get the answer. But we're going to have some tricky regrouping to do. They may be tempted to use their fingers. So we're going to help the students to think of which numbers might help you by handling them first, specifically looking for a 10. We have 1, 8, 7 and 2. How can we make 10 out of two of those numbers? Well, 8 plus 2 is 10. Notice that also we've got the option of 1 plus 7 plus 2, but that's probably more difficult to recognise. So to help us out, we're going to cross these two out, 8 plus 2, and write plus 10 above it. Now we have 1 plus 7, which is 8, plus 10. Nice easy fact, that's 18. This notation here, by the way, is not part of the method. It's a mental strategy. So as soon as students don't need to do the crossing out and the writing of the plus 10, encourage them to just do it all in their head and they should uh, find it quicker. 7 plus 7 plus 3 plus 1, clearly 7 and 3 make 10. 7 and 1 are 8 plus 10, that's also 18. And then a third example, 9 plus 1 plus 8 plus 1. 9 and 1 is 10, but notice there's also 8 plus 1 plus 1. I'm going to use that one just for um, an alternative. That makes 10, 9 plus 10 is 19. Apart from extending what students can do mentally in maths, I really like this strategy as a way of giving some ownership to the student and asking them to think for themselves and decide which operation to start with, because it doesn't matter which one you do first. There are some um, options that won't be as quick or as convenient as others, and so it would help them to think of easier ones to handle. But in this last example, you could start with 9 plus 1, or you can start with 1 plus 8 plus 1. It really doesn't matter, and you either way you get an easier fact to work out, and of course you get the same answer. So encourage your students in this strategy, and the same in the next sweep, to think for themselves and make their own decision. This is unusual in primary maths. Normally we say, there's a method here, you need to remember what that method is, now follow the steps of the method. But we can really help our students out by saying, what do you think? Think about this for yourself. Recognize the patterns and the combinations of numbers and find a way to reach a solution yourself, which of course is the way real mathematicians do it. That's it from me. I'll talk to you again very soon.